Very impressive. Very impressive. The operator's got a lot to do with it. The operator was too. Hey, look, uh-uh. No, 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 no. The deal is, if you come harass us all day long, what's his name? What? It's, I know his last name is Martin. Where'd he go? Come back here, chicken. <laughs> we look camera shy. A little right. camera shy. Ain't nothing. It's just a, look, it's like a Coca-Cola can. Yeah, but I know Never. where it's going. See, it's going all the way across the world. So, man, I, you know, with your good looks, I may get more viewers, man. May get me in trouble. You never know. No, nah, not a person of your stature. There's no way, man. All right. So Y'all are brothers. Deep, breathe, deep, breathe deep. <sighs> it's I'm okay. Here. It's going to be okay. We're this far. We're going to watch it. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be okay. So they're up here. Their last names are Martin. Y'all know who they are. All y'all down there and down there around Jackson know who they are. They watching the processor. So <laughs> I'll get them in a minute. About four foot. He'll back the tree up and he'll spit it out. He'll settle on about four about, about four foot. But now if you're cutting links like you're cutting like like that pup wood in that pile there, it's 19 and a half foot long. If you're cutting links, all you do is just press your 19 and a half foot button is all you do. And it's and it'll it, automatically it'll back up, find the end, and then take off and go to 19 and a half foot and then it'll stop and give you the option to saw. It'll tell you to saw. And uh, now the 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 if you've already if you've already run your saw, like say you've cut something, you've automatically found your end. You've automatically started your measure so it don't have to do anything. So right. if I pick something up, trim a butt off, and I want to cut a 19 foot, 16 foot log off, trim, you trim the butt off or the rod off or bad in, 19, 16, whatever, it just takes off and goes straight to it. When you make your next saw cut, you just touch the button again and it just goes to the next one. So, uh, I mean, it's just as fast as it can as it can be. Uh, but as far as maintenance, we was worried a lot about that on the maintenance on the sensors and stuff and on the electrical part, but there is no I mean, it's no, it's nothing no different than nothing uncommon. Yeah, then, then, then cranking up your machine one day and having to put a water temperature sensor on your on your loader, or your skidder, or something. I mean, it's no different than that there. Now, when those sensors puke, is that does y'all's dealer know y'all have them, or where are y'all going for those things? Well, the, as far as that goes, you can get them from any wartile dealer and see. The cool thing is, we've been dealing with, of course, we've been dealing with John Deere dealers, which of course is Warrior and Stribling. Right. But now, right. since then, in here, since the first of the year, uh, B and G down there has become a, a, war, a wartile dealer again. When they right. sold the that machine to Brazil, yeah. then they become a wartile dealer. So now you can call them. Uh, well, matter of fact, for that 624C head. They've got the sensor sitting there in stock down there. They've actually got the sensor stock ready to go. So if I needed one tomorrow, I can call them and somebody can run in there and get it for me right. and pick it up. But uh, it's pretty much ready to go. But uh, and then and then I've got one or two aftermarket companies that I can get the sensors from as far as the outside of Wartal that I can get uh, the aftermarket sensors from and uh, and they and they work well there too. I mean, pretty much the same sensor there, but. That's that's not a problem there. Is that a grease a grease or is that a crack up there? Whereabouts is that now? On, the, on my side, that below that snubber, and that knuckle there. Yeah, now that's gonna be a crack right there. That's okay. one. That's just a we. Uh, that's a cast iron piece right there, and uh, uh, and it ain't. It's not. It's not no danger of it coming apart or coming yeah. coming loose. There's no weight on that yeah. right there. Is all right there. It, I think that's been cracked since we've had it, right? It has. It has been cracked thought. since we've had it. And that was a crack. That was a crack that they had there. I was going to get it welded up, but it, but it's a cast piece, a cast iron piece. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they just they just said, well, we just leave it just like it is, you know. So we left it. We left it. And we hadn't had any trouble with it. We hadn't had to try to spray it or anything because there's still a lot of meat. You still got both sides there, and it's still. I don't think we'll ever have any trouble with it myself. But the the maintenance is minimal. I mean, it's just. Like the stuff he's talking about, the the photo eye. I mean, it's yeah. a little old piece. About it's a, it's about as big square as your finger. About that long. Got some wires. It's all plug and play. The the diameter sensor is basically a dimmer switch, more or less. You know, in just regular good old boy terms, just a dimmer switch. It as a it's got a linkage on it under that cover, and as that wheels open and close. It rolls it and turns it back, rolls it and turns it back, you know, is all it does. And same thing with the uh, with the measuring sensor up there. You just take that cover off and it 
plugs and plays and I mean that's just that's all it is to it um, and just, we've had zero problem as far as the head computer the cab computer uh, the wire and down the boom between the two points we've had zero problems on both machines I've never encountered a problem so if I encountered a problem tomorrow it'd be a new one on me because we've never had any trouble so I mean, all that tweaking like you're talking about automatically spinning it out four feet on this one and three feet on that all that stuff y'all are you can set it yeah you can change that if you wanted to yes. spit it 10 yes. feet yeah you just I mean, set it it's, it's easy enough we can do yes it. that's correct that's correct mm -hmm. that thing's set up to well keep in mind y'all a lot younger than we are man yeah, and, and y'all come computers. from the computer i mean i was i was after the computers came out and kevin was too so i mean y'all Y'all, it shouldn't be nothing for y'all, man. Did you pay attention in school? Come on, man. Long. Not long. <laughs> but yes, all that stuff is used or changed, changed to where you can change it all yourself. Uh, that, that All that is that's the non-issue. So, I mean, you basically set it up however you And it's all operated preference because when they got to, because they was used to, you know, uh, you know they they don't have very many running in the southeast, and a lot of things that I asked for whenever they set the machine up, and a lot of things that they done for me, the Wartal done, was kind of odd to them because they was used to setting them up in Canada, out mm -hmm. west, where they cut, you know, nine and ten foot logs, or 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 they may saw. You, you'll see a lot of videos. You'll see them. They saw a butt off everything, regardless, you know. And a lot of their stuff, you know, majority of their stuff is all cut to length, no put wood. You know, they'll just jump the little tops out. You'll never see them save a top or anything. Yeah. And and everything we was trying to do with ours was unusual to them, you know. But Are y'all more productive running this processor than that paper wood right there? Than that pull through D limber? Oh well, Lord, yeah. Well, well remember they ain't been on a pull through D limber in years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well there's there's two or three reasons why for one uh, the, the, the the Columbus paper mill has changed up. You know, I'm not sure where, you know, y'all may have a different, y'all probably got a different market because, of course, y'all are not coming all the way back up to Columbus with y'all's put with. Right. But see, they've changed like, like now. Used to, you could get away with whatever you got on a trailer as long as it wasn't sticking out to hit a car. That was fine. Well, now the paper mill is requiring everything to be cleaned up. They want every, they want every top sawed out. They don't want to see any broke out tops. If you come in there broke out tops, I think they've got them. Uh, a, a system like maybe 12 or 15 or so broke out tops and after that they'll reject the load you know it's got to be and cleaned up they don't want any stops right. sticking out no more either out there now, and so it's got to be pretty clean if all uh, you know the, the
machine to carry him through those limbs where the head ain't doing it. See, he's, as the head's running, he's, he's swinging the machine at the same time as power through those limbs. See, that 624 will bow up and get those right there, no problem. See, he's going to save that limb right there. He's going to cut it out, and it's going to be a piece of coal wood. So that was two brothers ch watching the processor run. They come out for a visit, checking things out. And uh, they were pretty impressed with things. Very camera shy. You saw that one take off running like he did when I broke that camera out, <laughs> which was pretty funny. So if you ever go to my job, you know, or our job, expect to be on camera because that's probably what's going to happen. So just thought I'd say that. Not sure what all the videos are going to be this week. I got a whole bunch of stuff in on my phone and camera and everything. So we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.